viewers, every time we have an episode of the Regents, we get to understand a new perspective of ministry. And so today we are in Kahuho, Kikuyu sub-county, where we visit the home of the Reverend Peter Jogu Wadetu, who started his ministry. And uh, before ministry, he was a teacher and then uh, an education officer, a joint ministry in terms of tent making before going to full-time ministry. And so that's a different dimension of the transitioning from tent making to full-time ministry. And so welcome to his home uh, in uh, Kikuyu. Mchungaji, buwana asifiwe sana. Buwana asifiwe. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for and waiting for us. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Karibu ni sana. Leverage Thetu, please take a moment and introduce yourself to the viewers. My name is Peter Jogu Thetu. This is my home where, we st where I stay with my family. We are blessed with two sons and three daughters. And mm. they, are all married, uh, they have their homes, they are married. Mm. So we stay here mm. with my dear wife, okay. Eunice Wanjiku. Okay. And uh, I'm very happy to receive you here. So here now, currently we are staying here with my wife only. Okay. Thank you so much, um, Chungaji, I know, and it is good for the viewers to understand that you are a teacher. So, tell us more about yourself, uh, Reverend Bait. Were you born in this area, and where, d where were you born and raised or went to school? I was uh, born education? in this area, mm. at a village called Mukawa, mm. in Kahuho mm. village, and uh, I was raised there. I went to school just within the compound. Mm. That is Kahuho Independent School, 1952. And uh, upon the declaration of emergency, I transferred to PCE Erongere School where I did my primary education. Mm. After doing my common entrance, mm. I passed and then we joined the intermediate called Rogere Intermediate School. Mm. I did my Kenya pre preliminary examination, that is CAPE, in 1962. Mm -hmm. After my doing my examination, mm. I did not go to high school. Mm. I was employed as a teacher mm. and trade teacher. In 1963, mm. when he got independence, I was a teacher. Mm. I, was, I, I was a trained teacher. Mm. I then did the interview to go for teacher training. Mm -hmm. And I went to Kagumo Teacher Training College, 1964-65, mm -hmm. mm. where I trained as a primary school teacher, P3, okay. the lowest grade. Mm. I remember mm -hmm. when we were there, we, we were there, mm. we were swearing that we will not be shaved our gray hair mm. in that grade. <laughs> <laughs> and it is then that after completing the, uh, the course mm. for two years, mm. graduated as a P3 teacher, uh, pro, uh, uh, posted to Kahuho DB School. Wow, right uh, in the neighborhood. Yes. Okay. That time we were, we were choosing uh. where you want to go. Mm. You had a, uh, to uh, choose two schools. Okay. I chose my first school and I was posted to PC, uh, uh, DB Kahuho. Mm. And uh, during the first year, mm. I was appointed the headmaster of that school. Ah, soon after, uh, after college. From college. Yeah. By that time, I was not married. Mm. <laughs> and uh, I became a headmaster of my teachers who were teaching me. Ah. God uh, guided me. 
Mm. I taught in Kahoo primary for mm. some, some years, mm. and then they found my, my work to be good. Mm. So I was taken to a bigger school mm. called AC Nyadona in mm. Kabete. Okay. And the school did it very well. Mm. And from there, mm. I was taken to another school mm. who, uh, called PCA, mm. uh, Angri AC mm. uh, Muthore. Mm. Currently, it is called Kanyaliri Primary School. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, the person who was the late Edward D. Gogi, who mm. was the staffing officer in Kenya, his children were schooling there. Oh, okay. And he said, I want Reverend Day to come here mm. and be the teacher of my children. No, wait a minute. You were not a Reverend then. I was not a reverend. Oh, okay, you say they want to reverend that. So no, I just Peter, wanted... Peter. Okay, okay. I wanted Peter, Peter to come yeah. and uh, be mm. the teacher of my children mm. and others. Okay. Then I taught in that school. Mm. That was from 1970, mm. 71, 72. Mm. Uh, then mm. I was taken to another school called mm. Mogoga. Okay. I taught during my teaching career. I taught for Kahuho, mm. Mudore, mm -hmm. Mogoga, Mo, uh, Mogoga. Okay. Three schools: Kahuho, mm. Nyadona, mm. Mudore, mm -hmm. and uh, Ed Mogoga. Mogoga. Oh, okay. Four schools. Ah. And uh, in that school mm. is where I met Professor Mungai. Mm. Oh. The, the, then, the, 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 the then, the then, the vice chancellor of the University Nairobi. of Nairobi. Uh -huh. And uh, he liked my work. Mm. And uh, with him and myself, we mm. started Mugoga Gatonya High School. Okay. Uh -huh. I was the secretary of mm. that school. Mm. It was then mm. that I told Professor Mungai that uh, I have an urge to go to the University of Nairobi. Mm. And because I, did, I studied privately, mm. because we say that you are not going to be saved the gray hair, mm. still At being the P3. P3. Yes. I promoted myself to P2, mm. then P1. Mm. After passing the examination, mm. the examinations, mm. and then it mm. is then that I felt that I would like to go to the university for mm. further studies. Mm. It was in Mugoga that mm. I, apply, I applied to be admitted to the University of Nairobi. Mm. That time, upon admission, mm. people they were advertising in the newspapers. Mm. And my name was among mm. those admitted mm. to the University of Nairobi. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then, I joined the, I left the teaching, mm. given study without pay mm. by the Ministry of Education. Mm. After completing my, my course, the course I was doing, mm. the professor, then he was now the vice chancellor of the University of Nairobi. Mm. He wanted me to work mm. part time in the university mm. and part time working for the government. Mm. I told him, I don't want to be employed by the two employers mm. because I will not be productive. Mm. Then I did not get the employment in mm. uh, the university, mm. but I did not go back to teaching after completing my course at the university. Mm. I, I applied in the Ministry of Culture mm. as education officer. Okay. I was posted to Nyandarwa mm. in 19, that was 19, 1980. Mm, okay. Even when we went for graduation, mm. 19th of December 1980, mm. I was already working in Kinangop mm. as education officer there. Okay. And by that time, mm. I was drinking beer. Mm. But in 1983, mm. the road came mm. 
mm. and changed. Mm. I, I accepted Christ mm. as my personal savior. Mm. And that is where the journey mm. of a reverend started mm. because I became involved in church work. Mm. And I felt the calling to the mm. ministry. Mm. I, when I went for the interview, mm. I hear people fail, mm. but I did not fail. I passed. But you, you, you applied for the tent making tent ministry. Tent making ministry. Okay. Before we come to the journey into the ministry and uh, uh, into tent making, mm. there's something you you mentioned at some point, and uh, you see some of the language some m people may not understand. Mm. Like uh, today, I don't think we have uh, DEB schools. Yeah. So th it's good for the members to know that DEB is District Education Board schools. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then um, at some point you said, uh, and this is uh, something I'm curious about. You had just started schools, school at the, uh, the in 1952 during the state of emergency yes. it was de declared. Yes. If you remember very well, uh, how did that affect life before and after the state of emergency in 1952? The life changed mm. because people, mm. those who had taken Mau Mau oath, mm. could not great to be associated with any church mm. Mm -hmm. or to hear anything concerning the European. Yes. Eh? Uh -huh. And they, even the home guards, mm. because they were very bitter mm. because of the problems that they went through. Okay. So life that time mm. was not simple. Okay. There was a library mm. and the people were promised mm. that Upon getting independent, uh, uh, um, uh, Uhuru, mm. they will. They were thinking that they will get everything free. Mm. When mm. they saw that there, there is nothing free, mm. so they were not hap comfortable. Mm. Even uh, one time, mm. the late president Kenyatta, mm. people went and told him, showed him the the tattered clothes, mm. and he abused them mm. Mm. because. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he abused the, mm. the way mm. he used to abuse. Mm, yeah, I know. Yeah. Huh? So, uh. life was difficult. Mm. And uh, particularly for mm. those who did not have education, mm. yeah. they had a lot of uh, frustrations. Mm. And their expectations were not met. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm? So, so, so it was it was right for Diga to say that it's not yet Uhuru. After that is why <laughs> Oginga said yeah. it is not yet Uhuru. <laughs> okay. So now, let's come now to your entry into the ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you got saved in 1983. Yes. At what point did you now uh, apply to join the tent making ministry? Okay. And, uh, and it's very important that you explain to the to the viewers yes. what is tent making. Tent making ministry mm. is working. Mm -hmm. Where where you are working, mm -hmm. and then you join the ministry, mm. and you are educated. You know, if it is preaching, you know how to preach, mm -hmm. but you still work mm -hmm. within you your ministry. With where you are working and where you are working, giving voluntary services over the weekend uh, to the church. Over the weekend, yes. So that, that's how I started. Mm. Even when I went for to the for the interview, mm. they were asking me, mm. "Why don't you go to the full ministry?" Mm. I told them, mm. "When I was coming from home, mm. we had prayed with my wife mm -hmm. for the tent making, making ministry. Uh -huh. If you ask me about that question, mm. I have to go home and then pray, again. pray again with my wife." <laughs> <laughs> because we prayed for the tent making ministry. ministry. And you were comfortable in teaching. Yes. And education. Yes. And so I want to know so that when I, I, I work with those mm. and work mm. with those officers, mm. I preach to them. Mm. And in fact, I was like a chaplain mm. in the whole, in the whole, uh, the, in the whole Kenya. Yeah. yeah. So wh which year was that? That was 19, 19, 19, 19 mm. because I I finished my the course I was doing at the University of Nairobi. Mm. I was posted to Kinango, mm. Nyandarwa. Mm. 1980 or 1990? 1980. 1980. But you got saved in 
I'm asking about the time you joined the, the, the tent making ministry. Yes, the time after I, getting saved. Yes. When after that? After getting saved, mm. there it was advertised mm. that there will be a tent making ministry course. Mm. And it is then that I applied. Oh, soon after you got saved? Soon, soon after I got saved. Oh, okay. Because I told my wife, mm. now I have, I'm saved. Mm. And because I was doing all sorts of evil mm. and I've changed. Mm. I want to serve the Lord mm. completely. Mm. Okay. So, eh, completely, I want mm. to serve the Lord. Mm. And I want to serve where I'm working. Mm. And, where, and at the weekend, mm. I have to, to do uh, uh, voluntary services yes, to for the, the church. church. Yeah. That's how I, I, I became that mm. tent making ministry. Mm. And I pushed, I went through until when I retired from the civil service. Mm. Is, the, is the time that the presbytery mm. posted me mm. to a parish. Mm -hmm. I was not posted by the appointment committee. Mm. It's the presbytery? The presbytery okay. of Kikuyu. Mm. And after posting me, mm. they informed the church mm. that in my hair, mm. Where there was a vacancy, so we have posted it Reverend Zetu. Okay. So the church mm. rectified mm. the transfer. Mm. I mean the appointment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Here is uh, Reverend Peter Zetu. Yes. In uh, the civil service yes. as an education officer. Yes. Giving voluntary services to the church over yes. the weekend. Yes. And uh, still serving uh, the government. Yes. What? Can you say, in terms of your experience, what are the challenges that you ever encountered in tent-making ministry? Tent-making ministry mm. is a very good ministry. Okay. Because mm. you are not relying to uh, that you are, the church will pay you. Mm -hmm. You frontier the services. Mm -hmm. You work. Mm. And uh, God rewards you. Mm. Mm? Yes. God rewards you. Mm. I remember when I, 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 I... Because my first posting mm. was Mwoga. Mm. I was attached to Mwoga. Mm. And I worked with Mwoga for seven years. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half years mm. as the te tent making ministry. Mm. Minister. Mm. And mm. upon mm. completion, mm. upon my retirement, mm. it is then that the presbytery of Kikuyu where I was a member mm. posted me to uh, my hey parish. Mm. In my hair parish, mm. I worked, mm. and mm. it is still hard in my hair mm. that the presbytery of Kikuyu mm. ma made me the mm. secret, uh, the presbytery clerk okay. of Kikuyu. Now, before we come, because that's the era of your full time ministry, mm. and I want to ask this question mm. given another chance, mm. let's say, uh, we go back to 1983 mm. and you're joining the ministry. Mm. Given a chance to go into either tent making or full time ministry, would you still go for tent making? Mm. <laughs> I would rather not comment on that uh. because it's very difficult. Uh. Because that time, uh. People were, for, were doing frontal work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this time, mm. a minister mm. cannot work without being paid. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I know. Let me say that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I have to think twice before I decide <laughs> what. <laughs> but, yeah, I know, I know. But especially when you are in the intent making and you are an education officer, you yes. are comfortable. Yes. You are comfortable in the job that you are you are doing. Yes. So, uh, something that you mentioned uh, that uh, you were not posted by the appointment committee, mm. but by the presbytery. Yes. It is very it is very important to explain that that happened because there was already a vacant parish. Yes. yes. In the presbytery, yeah. had th had there not been a vacant parish, mm. you would have been referred. Mm. to the appointment committee yes. 
And most probably you would not have been posted within your presbytery. Mm. It would have been outside the uh, presbytery. Mm. So how did you fight the transition that you had from tent making into full-time ministry? Was it smooth? Was there some challenges that you encountered during the transition or some challenges that you encountered in a new environment as now a full-time minister? No, I did not find it difficult yeah. because yeah. as education officer yeah. or as an officer yeah. you have to sh uh, shoulder yeah. many responsibilities yeah. so that one became as another yeah. responsibility that i've uh, undertaken yeah. on full-time basis now yeah, yeah. okay Vo no challenges mm -hmm. so the transition was yeah. good yes yeah okay as an education officer you are used to you know, as a big boss, it, giving orders, giving orders, do this. I have planned that you do this. Now you come and moderate a session where you have to listen to all views. E even when I was an education officer, yeah. you know, I had teachers under me. Mm -hmm. I was not mm. forcing them, mm. but we were discussing. Okay. We that were talking. That is very important. We were, I was accommodating the ideas. Mm. Mm. So we worked very well, even mm. in the parish. Mm. I worked very well. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, and that's and uh, okay. in my first appoint, uh, appointment in the parish, mm. the presbytery erected me as their crack, crack of, the of the presbytery yes. for the three years. Mm. Mm. The, the reason why I'm going back and forth to that question mm. is that I know of some tent makers mm. who have not uh, effectively been trans, trans, uh, been able to transition to full-time ministry. Mm -hmm. And some had challenges, even understanding their role from being a head teacher mm -hmm. or an education officer, mm -hmm. uh, giving orders, no. and everybody listens because you're the boss. But no. now you're coming to an environment wherever you sit, no. and you have to moderate. I, 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 I remember mm -hmm. when I was ele elected as a clerk, mm. I was refusing to be educated yes. because I was saying yeah. I'm very new. Yeah. Why assign there are so many ministers? Yeah. We are working with Kinanjoya. Joa yeah. was in Keno. Yeah. Reverend Mushui was in Kikuyu. Yeah. And I remember the first uh, 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 I mean uh, elections yeah, right, of the presbytery. We stood Mr. Uh, uh, Reverend Mushui and myself yeah. to lip Tigania Kiti, yeah. Mini Kashaguriwa. Mm. Wakati wa pili mm. joya akasimama akasima, mm. nikaweka joya shini <laughs> <laughs> Reverend okay. Joya yes eh? okay <laughs> sasa so, mm. ya, ya, ya tatu mm. wakasema mm. let him let him go through now yeah. i went to even not being and opposed, opposed. Yeah. And opposed. okay so mm. i can't say there are challenges mm. because the way you take your work mm matters mm. the way you approach mm. your approach mm. matters very much mm -hmm. yes okay now i'm interested to know now that you are retired minister about the journey towards retirement and i know yours is unique in the sense that you first retired in the civil service you went into full-time ministry and then retired as a minister how did you prepare for retirement that uh, that's why I don't like to be called a retired minister. <laughs> okay. Why? Yeah. I retired from the civil service. Yeah, okay. And uh, when I was retiring, mm. retiring, mm. I had prepared what to do. Mm. Okay. You could not, I had, I was raising a uh, chicken. Mm. I had cows. Mm. So when I, I retired, mm. I said, I'm moving from this to this. Mm-hmm. And uh, I normally say mm. that there's nothing called retirement. Okay. Because mm. you retire to bed mm. uh -huh. or to grave. Mm. Mm -hmm. But when you are <laughs> moving from this is, uh, stage into this stage, mm -hmm. that's not retirement because mm. you change. Yeah, it's a transition. It's a transition. Mm. And after working for the government, for the required years, mm. that was 55 years, mm. I retired from the civil service as senior education officer. Okay. And on retirement mm. is when mm. I was given a chance to work in a parish mm. as a parish minister. Mm. 
And when I came to retire as a parish minister, mm. I also said, mm. I don't want to be called a retired minister mm. because you retire to bed or to grave. Mm -hmm. I've changed. Mm -hmm. The church has only removed the mm. parish work from active parish from minister, the active parish minister. Uh, ministry, mm -hmm. but still, I can do. And you do everything that I was doing when I was not retired. Mm. And when I'm, I, I went to a parish, a congregation, mm. I do everything. Mm. There's nothing like you mm. You retire to bed. Especially in the ministry. Uh, in the ministry. Mm -hmm. You retire to bed mm -hmm. or to grave. Mm. So, uh, the, in the process of the preparation for retirement or what you're calling mm. a changed life, mm. did you construct this beautiful home when you are in the education department or when you are in full-time ministry? When I was working in the ministry <laughs> as education officer, minister of culture, okay. is the time that I built this home. Mm. And mm. much of the money that I used to build this house mm. was contributed by my children. Oh, okay. Because when you empower your children, mm. one day they will uh, pay back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I cannot be proud that I that, that I built this that house. That you did it. I, uh, that I did it. It's a family. It's a family effort. Venture. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's very important. Yes. So by the time you are now transitioning from uh, tent making to full time ministry, mm. and the years that you served as a full time minister. Mm you were operating from your own home. I have never slept in a the month. church, a, a parish house. The, the house is in, even in my head. Mm. There was a, a month, mm. but I have never slept in that house. Mm. I was going morning, mm. evening, I'm here. Mm. Yeah. But you also work at... Also, in Irali, uh. I, was, I have never slept uh. in the, that month mm. for those eight years. Mm. Yeah. But you also are uh, lucky to have actually after transitioning to into full time full time ministry, you are mm. lucky to have served within the neighborhood of your uh, of this place. Yes. You never went to further places. You never s served outside this region. But I wa when I was working with the, the government, yes. education officer, yes. I, I I moved. I was not working here. Yes, I was working. But I'm, in, I'm, I'm talking in, in terms in of in, in terms of the ministry. In the ministry, yes, it is only within the central region. I work and, within and, within central region, and actually this upper part of central region, yes. not uh, not anywhere else. Yes, so it's good to uh, to, to to have somewhere that you can. And uh, let me say mm. that during our time. Mm. Life was very difficult mm. because I didn't have a vehicle. Mm. I was wa walking, mm. carrying the the the, the box the with you, uh, with the, uh, the, the the robes, the robes, mm. and the the Bible mm. and a hymn book mm. for so many kilometers. Mm. But I don't think today's minister mm -hmm. ministers mm. can tolerate that <laughs> because oh, I remember walking. I wa was walking from here <laughs> to Getaro. Yeah. When I was in Imogoka Parish, yeah. and then yeah. from uh, Ekatano yeah. to Kanyanjara, mm. Kerwa, mm. those areas, mm. and I was walking, mm. carrying the box. Mm. Mm. When did you? I, I am, I'm trying to look for a better word because mm. I don't want to use retire. <laughs> because don't, don't use retire. <laughs> 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 when did you leave active ministry? <laughs> 2008. It's 2008. Yes, 2008. Okay. So that is the time that you went into that uh, changed uh, environment. Yes. So it is very important that uh, we all get to understand that uh, that phase of life comes. Yes. And we cannot be in active ministry forever. Yes. So what would you advise those of us that are still in active ministry to do in terms of preparing to be where you are today? Those that are in the active ministry. Mm. My advice mm. is that they should make sure mm. they have built their houses mm -hmm. somewhere to go mm -hmm. after retiring. Because mm -hmm. one day you retire, mm. you have to have your own house mm. where you go. Mm. And because today's minister, because mm. I, 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 I have them, 
Mm. When they go and see that th they like to to be housed mm. in very expensive house mm. Mm. and to be given very good uh, 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 mm. sofa sets, mm -hmm. furniture, mm -hmm. accept whatever you find in the parish. Mm. And that is my advice to the mm. new ministers. Mm. Whatever you find in the parish, mm. advise them, mm. go with them slowly, mm -hmm. don't force them, mm -hmm. don't say that we cannot stay in a house like this one. Mm. Eh? Mm. Because it is according by God. Mm. And when you are called by God, mm. you are not called to go and uh, command. Mm. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. No. Mm -hmm. So they should accept the, f the, the furniture and the house that they find. Yes. If they want <laughs> to be comfortable, mm. they do it in their home. Yes. That's what you are driving at. I, I don't say that they should not be given good well, furniture. Yes, okay. But whatever they find, uh -huh. be content. Let them be contented mm. with them mm. and advise them. If, if there's a need to change, mm. Advise them mm. and go slowly. Mm. Consult. Mm. Seek advice. Mm. Yeah, from them. Okay. So now that you are not in active parochial ministry, mm. but you wake up every morning. Yes. And you're not going to a, to a church office. Yes. So what do you do on daily basis? On daily basis, mm. I have to. Right now, mm. I will seek. Mm. But before I became sick, mm. I had to make sure that tomorrow I'll do this. Mm. But don't wake up mm. without knowing what you are supposed to do that day. Mm. Yeah. So in particular, what do you do? The, the, what you're calling this? In terms, is it in terms of farming or what? what do I don't farm. Mm -hmm. I have my cows. Mm -hmm. I, sometimes I have uh, chicken. Mm. Although I have somebody who is working, mm. because I, I have a, somebody who assists mm. me, mm. I can milk. Okay. When I don't have somebody to milk, mm -hmm. I can deliver the milk. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how do you keep yourself busy on a daily basis? That's how I keep myself busy. Uh. To, I go there, see mm. they are feeding well, mm -hmm. they are well mm -hmm. prepared, they mm -hmm. are sleeping well. Mm -hmm. so, that keeps me busy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then over the weekend, how engaged are you in the presbytery? By other in ministers? the presbytery, mm. it depends on the minister where you are attached. Mm. The minister can decide not mm. to give you work. Mm. When you are not given work, mm. you just relax. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Like myself, mm. uh, I am called from neighboring parishes. Mm. Even I am attached to Kahua Parish. Mm. Okay. And in the Kahua Parish, mm. the minister uses me. Mm. But I am also called to other mm. parishes mm. by other ministers. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that that shows a very good working relationship between the non the non active yes. ministers and the active yeah. ministers in the, in the parochial ministry. Yes. Which is a very important thing that we we, we, we need to encourage yes. so that we can all learn from one another. Mm. And you can become our consultants. Yes. advising us yes. on uh, various things in the ministry. Mm. And so thank you so much, uh, Reverend Detu, for your time, mm. welcoming us to this, your beautiful home, and then sharing with us the things that you have shared with us. Mm. And uh, I can say that you are doing well as a legend. Mm. Yes. yes. So I, I, I am trying to deliberately remove the word retired minister yes. and call you a legend. Yes. So thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. Yes. Viewers, thank you for listening. See you in the next episode of The Regents. May the Lord bless you and be with you. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for many of these episodes. God bless you. <laughs>